So set in the building. <laughs> Already. Facebook. So I'm saying right. Good in this camera. So I'm saying. Hey, Israelite, brothers and sisters, we're gonna send a prayer up real quick. Your brothers and sisters set your face. Let's turn towards the land. Alright. Ready up. Men of Israel, blow trumpets. Trumpets down. Oh Lord, I will come for a present at this moment. Oh Lord, I will come for a present asking the Lord for your mercy, Lord. Asking the Lord for the forgiveness of the sins of our forefathers, Lord, and the sins will come day by day, oh Lord. Please, Lord, ask the Lord straight for the hands of the Lord and upon our leadership, Lord, and bless them, O Lord. Swiftly and speedily, O Lord. Remove all sickness from around them, O Lord. Please, Lord, strengthen them, O Lord. Put your hands, O Lord, to guide them every day, Lord. Ask you to do unto our brothers and our sisters, Lord, who are going through things, Lord. Please, Lord, the one who are weak and sickly, Lord, strengthen them, O Lord. Build their faith, O Lord. Please, Lord, I ask you again, Lord, to stretch forth your hands, O Lord, upon this wicked kingdom, Lord, and judge it according to your will, O Lord. Please, Lord, bring more destruction upon it, Lord. Please, Lord, let I have eyes to see and my ears, Lord, to hear when they fall, Lord. Please, Lord. Hear me, O Lord, when I cry to you at this moment, O Lord, Lord, forgive us, O Lord, for the things that we've done in secret, Lord, and in openly, O Lord. Please, Lord, forgive us, O Lord. Please, at this past overcome up, O Lord, please, Lord, let our brothers and sisters, O Lord, renew now, some right spirit within them, O Lord, and let me enjoy and do according to your will, O Lord. In your name, O Lord, and say, with Jesus Christ, we pray at this moment, O Lord, bless all the brothers and sisters who are online, Lord, straight forth your hands upon them, Lord, and bless them, O Lord. Bless Officer Enoch to all times, O Lord, because he's always of the willing spirit, O Lord, to come and help. To push this gospel, Lord. Bless Brother Seth at this moment, O oh Lord. Please, Lord. But Brother in not Anias, O oh Lord. And bless Brother Malachi in your name, true Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh Lord God of Israel. And remember, Brother Job is here. You understand? Bless him to O oh Lord. In your name, true Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord. Amen. Hello, sir. All right. Periscope, Facebook. Hey, listen. I'm, I look so, let me look pretty up here, man. We need some light. See that? <laughs> I want to look pretty. <laughs> Already, look, I look brown, man, for real. I'm saying. <laughs> our praises. Hey, I was saying shout out, man, to all of your brothers and your sisters, Lord. For always in the spirit. I'm saying from Periscope straight back to Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Straight back to the club outside. Like how your sister been growing in the spirit too, and your brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Your sister been heating up the word. See that? So I'm just saying again, virgin. Every, every Tuesday night, you always try to come and just bring something to the table. And it's then I pray the most I make your sister and your brothers learn something that you can repent and do according to the most I will. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying shout out to our leadership. So I send shout out to our leadership. He's the one who make it possible. You understand? For real. We don't give the most of his praise and his thanks already. But we have to do, give respect to it, Joe. Yeah, we send shout out to our leadership. Lad. We know that they make it back safely. One spirit, one mind, one body. That's what we are. So now, <laughs> again, last week, what, what, what was the topic last week? We go with last week again, man. You give me that topic. Eh? No, that's it. Nah. No. Yeah. I forget. I forget last week's topic. I forgot. No. What was it? Far among you know, someone like that will find wicked men. That's it. I forget. But this week's topic. What this topic? This week's topic is. I forget too. <laughs> Do I really love myself? So now, 
What we supposed to put it on like a John for? Look, meditate, premeditate the things what you do to yourself. You understand and say for real. <laughs> do I really, really love myself? To the things what we do, to the things what we said, to the things what come from the mouth, what we have inside. You see what I'm saying? Because these are the things. The things what we have inside, we always feel like, say, okay, it is good for the inside, but it's not. You see what I'm saying? And these things, if you really, really love yourself, you're going to get rid of all those bad thoughts. You will think about each other's. Understand for real. The things what you still have in mind when you leave back in the sinful world, something you entertain it the same way by yourself. These are the things. And the things what you're supposed to be man up as a man, you act like you're still a boy. Same thing with your sisters. Nobody can do it stick and with you. Nobody can put you on your knee and tell the whole one hears. You see what I'm saying? But these are the things. Whenever your brother's done anything, and and turn it down a little bit. Who I? See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Anything what we do, you know what I'm saying? Bye. We come to the truth. Because many of us still have a nine toe into the sinful world and one toe they have inside. So I'm saying, so you have to understand what I'm coming from. See, so we're going to touch a couple of scriptures. So I'm saying, to let your brothers and your sisters know if you love yourself or you're not. Many of you are coming to the Passover too. That's what I'm saying. You Passover brothers and your sisters who want to come at the Passover, you talk about it. You're asked to, yo, when, when I can sign up. What I said? When I can do it? Sign? I can sign up. When I can sign up. These are the things like that. Do you really know what time it is coming to the Passover? Do you fix the problem what you and your wife have inside the house? Do you fix the problem what you and your brothers have inside the house? But you brothers and your sisters want to come at the Passover? And I think many of you brothers and your sisters sign up already. I think so. What do you feel like? These are the things I think you brothers and your sisters sign already. You sign, you get what? Two room suites. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. <laughs> help me help you tonight. I'm saying for real. So brothers and sisters, we're going to touch the scriptures. As you speak, I'm waiting on the scribe, Mr. Enoch. When you see him, I put on my face. You know what time it is, right? All right, let me put my face on. So I'm saying, I see my favorite captain join me. All praises. You join me, brother. <laughs> A lot more to come. When I put on my glass the first time, brother was... You're wearing glasses, brother? Okay. <laughs> I pray the most I do not take my vision away, man. For real. You see, I only want the glass to read. I can see differently, but when it comes to the world, it's like close by, blurry. A glass I can't see up there. I have to stay right here. So, and I pay so much money for this glass. I paid close $600 for my glass, man. And I can't see far. I only can't see right here. So, help me, help me. Give me. Please, let Moses give me about this vision. So, you ready? You ready, officer? All right. The first scripture. First scripture. Let me send what I want. Should I go there already? Because people say, think that I'm funny. All right. Give me the first scripture I want. The scripture what we read every Sabbath when we close before we drink the wine. Hmm. That's the first one. So let us see if we really, really love ourselves. I will just pretend to say we love ourselves. So if you do not love yourself, it's the same way you're going to treat a brother and a sister. So I'm saying, same thing you're going to do. So you ready? 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23. Start from right there. Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Hey, all of, all of, all of, let me introduce myself to the people. My name is Captain Barnabas and on my right, 
of the self. Mr. Seth in the building. You see what I'm saying? This is Mr. Seth right here. Many people take it for a little kid, but a full grown boy. <laughs> That's my man right here. Good brothers, man. Good brother, man. For real. I pray the most I bless him on him fight to the end, you know? All right. So give me that real quick. First Corinthians 11. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given hey, thanks. All up, all up, stop. Don't read it like on the Sabbath. <laughs> so I'm saying, this is something what your brothers break into now. You're going to read it. Watch this. Come on. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. Watch. Stop. Stop. This is when Christ is going to lead on his life for the old nation. Israel. So it leaves something behind for every one of us what we're supposed to have that thought to remember not Christmas, not Thanksgiving, not your birthday, not your mother's day, not your daddy's day, not woman day. Because I see a new day. You see a new day, right? Today is woman day. Yeah. No. God said, before I die, before I lay down my life for you all, this I would make sure put on the table say, listen, I'm going to lay down my life, but do not let me look like a Negro. Do you understand? That's what he was saying. He said, do, that's what I said. <laughs> I hear a brother tell a brother one time when we were over there by Poland and Burke Avenue. He said he will die for him. Well, look at him and say, yo, bro, you're crazy. You know me like that. But, 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 but. Brother, the man said, okay, stop, stop. You do not know me like that. How are you going to lead on your life as somebody what you do not know, son? If Christ lead on his life and in the time when we're supposed to resurrect and pay him back all his kindness, we have a problem. No, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. But listen, sister, it's in red writing. Brother, the, what Christ leave is in the red You know what I'm saying? It's in red writing in the book. But you said you love him. You said he is your Lord. You don't want to call your husband Lord, but you said Christ is my Lord. But when you should do what Christ said, it's the next thing. You look at the man who laid on his life for you. Now you're supposed to just apply the words. Apply words. You guys can do it. Read it for me. Come on. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said. When he had given thanks. What mean giving thanks is saying up prayers to the father. He break and, and said what? Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. So now stop. That's why the last time I hear Deacon said. Deacon Laba said. About the bread. You remember when that bread? And you catch spirit. You don't understand. You're supposed to put. Everything inside that bread. You're supposed to give it some love when you're making that bread. Trust me. Don't let me when I'm when Sabbath over and I feel good in my spirit eating that bread. I still have to make up my face. <laughs> brothers looking at brothers and sister. God damn it. No. Listen. Make sure if you cannot bake the bread, tell sister said, I don't reach there yet. I don't reach that level yet. Do you get it? Brothers, if your wife cannot bake, do not put her in the kitchen to bake no bread. Do you understand that? Because we're going to read about what the bread stand for. Come on. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. What? He said, This is my body. Do eat it. But... Been in eating it, you supposed to remember this is not just a piece of bread and some wine. This is the body of me. Do you understand, brothers and sisters? But you are the same one. You are the same brothers and the same sister. You eat it, drink it, burp, do the same evil, but 
looking out now. Brother, buy his ticket already. Sister, buy his ticket already. Mm -mm. You don't know what you're doing. I'm just going to show you that you do these things. You do not love yourself. You do not even love your kids. Come on. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Come on. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Whoa, whoa. She said, of oft as ye eat and drink it in remembrance of me. So now, so the five, the ten years where many of us in the truth, some people say, okay, I'm in, in eight some people 6, 3, 11, 12, 10. Do when you eat and drink this bread, as often as you drink it, you remember what it really stands for? Do you remember what the eating and breaking of the bread really, really stand for? I'm just asking. Many of you just eat it, drink it, and laugh like it's a game spiritual things spiritual things that we're dealing with every week this is spiritual things but many of you do not see it that way many of you look at the scriptures the word like some natural men you understand we have to be that spiritual men what god talking about read for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup ye do show the lord's death till he come you hear that so as often as you drink this bread and sip this cup, you are doing that to show the Lord that how oh, oh, oh great and how oh wonderful it is for somebody laid on his life for you. Die for your sin, not his sin. Die for your sin. And he just said, listen, I'm going to leave something in remembrance of you. You see this bottle of water right here? Do not drink it half until I come. That's what he said. He said, sip this cup in remembrance of me. You understand? For real. That's what the scripture said. Sip this cup in remembrance of me. It's not a belly full. Come in here, you I see when you get a slice and it's so nice, you go and fill your pocket. Hand pocket. Brother, stop. This is not a game. This is not no banana cake, no planting pudding, pudding. no bread. This tell me, brother, if you really, really know what you're doing. Buy the bread is so nice. You know your spirit ain't right, but look, I see your pocket fail. <laughs> God damn it. You serious? You really, really, really feel feel so it's just a piece of what they call it again? piece of married wedding cake brother this ain't no married cake sisters this is life and death situation we deal with every sabbath all the angels sit down there and looking at you say you see that one he died already i can't believe he's still gonna eat that bread that what they're saying but you just look at it like nobody's seen you you're good you can come and say shalom most and christ bless and everything is good. You cover up your sins and everything is good. No, we have a problem here because we have somebody who just taking, like what they call it again? You know, like when they call that thing again, like when they drink it, you die. They call it, call that thing, bro. It's a green thing. They use them and it can kill the grass too. You put it on the grass and it just wither up that thing. I forgot what the name. I see people drink it and just die. You see what I'm saying? So you've been drinking that just like that liquid stuff. I forget what the name. I forget what that thing name. Huh? Not cava. Not cava. Not cava. Cava. It, 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 cava is dangerous to you know, but that thing knock you out this way. You drink it now, you die in space of five minutes. That's how it's day. But we're drinking and eating the bread like it's a normal thing. It's not a normal thing, brothers. You know what I'm saying? For me, I feel satisfied with that little piece. Many times, brother, do you want a, a second? No. When my wife beat that bread at home, I hear it so hard, she can't believe it. I just eat, slice them big and thick like this. <laughs> because I feel like I'm valuable to eat that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, said, okay, if I eat that, I'm, uh, 
I'm good because I judge my spirit. I know the thing what I do. And I know if the thing what I do, I feel guilty about it. I know I do wrong. So I make sure I stay on that part where I do not feel guilty with the thing what I did. You see what I'm saying? So many of you do things and the guilt, but to how we keep on constantly doing it, it seems like you ain't doing nothing bad. I know when things is bad from when things is right. You see what I'm saying? And I know when I see things and it mess with my brain, I know how to get down to the sea to get rid of them stuff. I would eat and just meditate on it. Oh, I'm going to go across. Or, oh, I'm going to do that thing. That's how I do. You see what I'm saying? When I hear stuff, what people said, I said, and so, no, I examine myself first. I feel hurt, but what? I just examine myself. Boom. And then I just get back my mind right because I ain't going to live with that for days. No. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't, nobody ain't going to bring me down by I'm going to the past woman and you hit my head. I just tell about yourself and that's it. That's what I did. I just tell you, bro, this is it. Stay over there and I stay over here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but you ain't gonna help me, me have that burden. No. Mm -mm. Watch this. Keep it. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this cup, excuse me, shall eat this bread. The Bible said, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. That's, listen, this is it, brethren. The Bible said you are guilty. You ever go in front of the judge you have the persecutor over there. You have the DA them over there. You understand? Know and you're waiting what the persecutor going to say because they are the one, brother. The brother feel like just they are the one. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have to have a lawyer. And your lawyer is with Christ. Mm. So now, if what he write and you do not follow that, none of the, listen, he cannot save you from the DA. He cannot save you from the persecutor. He cannot save you. It's anything what they write in a book. Boom, they push it to the judge. You understand? Right now, they are using computers, iPads. That's what they use now. They just stand up with their little iPads right there and read out what you've been done. You see that? So the same thing kind of reach you on that day right here. Come on. But let a man examine himself. You see how easy it is? Brother, examine yourself. Stop believe the bread and the wine, what you drink, brother. It is just a piece of cake. This is Christ's body. That's what he said. And I'm going to show you that. God, many of us going to the Passover. I'm going to show you that. Watch this. Come on. But let a man examine himself. Men, a man examine himself. Come on. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. So the Bible said when you examine yourself, you really, really innocent to what you're doing. You can eat the bread. But if you're guilty of eating the bread and still doing wickedness, brother, stop. Brother, you're going to kill yourself. The Bible tell you that. The Bible going to tell you that. Come on. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. You don't care a damn what Christ did. Not discern the Lord's body. Because I told you, the bread, don't look at it like it's just Okay, my wife bear this bread. Or, oh, that's brother, son, so sister, brother, brother. That's the body of Christ. That's the body of Christ. The wine, what you drink, is the blood. That's what you guys don't understand. It's so simple. But you, just because you just look at it so natural, like a natural man. You don't look at nothing spiritual to your life. The Bible said, this is the body of me, which is Christ. Come on. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you. So that's why you see brothers and sisters bugged out. Why you feel like this brother say, I am now after 10, 12 years, brother, believe in such things. Baptism, brother, believe in, okay, I, have, I can eat chicken and goat. Chicken and what? And this at the Macaroni. Passover. These are the things like that because what? There was eating and drinking, not discerning the Lord's body. You understand for real? That's why these things come upon brothers that are sick. Don't feel like these brothers in their right mind. They are sick. What I said, these brothers are bipolar. You do you understand? Real talk. The Bible say that. Insofar this cars, many are weak and sick among you. And what? And many sleep. And I see brothers who die. You understand? Die by what? Leave his wife 
Go look another one on the side. Leave his kids. Brothers die. After five years, brothers die. Most I said, okay, I'm going to give you five. I'm going to add five to what you, you understand. I'm going to give you five. See if you would have to take time to repent. That's what God did. Come on. Come on. Keep reading. We have Verse more in 31. it. Verse 31. Yep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. You see what I'm saying? So the Bible said we have to judge ourselves. But you want to judge somebody else at the same time. And you don't judge yourself. The things what you do day by day. Eating the bread, drinking the wine. But you're still acting like a niggard. Same way, son. You forget that's what you, what you eat last week, this week. The Bible said examine yourself before you eat it, but you're still eating it, bro. And like everything is good, the Bible said you're sick. And you're weak too. Trust me, that's why your wife talks so much at home. Don't respect nothing because you're weak. She sees you're weak in the spirit. God, that's what's going to happen. You're eating, drinking unworthily. You're going to weak in the spirit. No respect at home. You wonder why. You understand for real? Many of your brother do not want no counsel. Because it don't, your counsel do not even make sense. Trust me. Because she ain't going to stop. If she talk, she will listen to who? The spiritual man. She will listen to the leadership. Everything what they said, she don't buck up. She don't gain say. But with you, Jesus Christ, she no respect. Because God say you're sickly and you're weak. You do not judge yourself, son. Sisters, these are the things what God has shown you. Come on. Verse 32. Mm -hmm. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. You see that? So the Bible said that when you are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. So you see the one who always go through things and still here? Oh, he's the one. He's the one. Watch this. Come on. That we should not be condemned with the world. World. You see that? God said we're not supposed to go through this and then we get condemned with the world. No, you're crazy, bro. For all these things, what I do and hurt and we have a chance to get repentance, to get everlasting life. You think I'm going to be judged with the world? No. This don't. No, no, no. Wife, kids. You better go. Better go. Through the door. You see what I'm saying? You better know what we're building here. Righteous house. Righteous kids. That's how it go down right here. Come on. Verse 33. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. So, brethren, listen, this is good. If you have visited the pastor, why you know you ain't right? Eat full your gut at home. Oh, that sound. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds more better, right? You know you ain't right, but you still want to come around, brothers. Full your belly at home, brother. And do not burn no lamb on top of you. <laughs> yeah, I burned some lamb. No, brother. Don't even try that. Eat regular, like some curry goat, some oxtail. Give me some of Judah. Fried right, chicken. Fried chicken. Judah, Rasta, Pastor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do that real time. The Bible is telling you, eat at home. And I'm going to show you the Passover. Who is the Passover? Can you don't even understand who is the Passover? Give me that Corinthian real quick. Corinthians 5, start from verse 5. Let you read down for the brothers. We want to show you who is the Passover. That's why I'm telling you, if Christ leave his body and say the wine, and the, the wine and the bread is my body, you understand? That's what he said. But you don't understand, right? Let me, let me enlighten you with something. Give me that real quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 5. To deliver such and one. Verse 7. Purge no, no, out no, no, the... No, 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 no. Start what I told you from. That's what I want. Yes, sir. Give me that. To deliver such a one unto Satan mm -hmm. for the destruction of the flesh, mm -hmm. that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. So everyone, that's our mission. We want our spirit, not the flesh. The flesh ain't nothing. This flesh is none. But I want my spirit saved in the time when my king returns, which is Jesus Christ. You see? Come on. 
Your glory is not good. The Bible said, you brother what eat the bread and drink the wine. You sister who still have that belly or that gut against another sister. And you have that gut against your husband. Still don't want to free up and be submissive and to do the things what the scripture said. What what the scripture said. That's what you have to do. You see, your glory is not good. You're supposed to stay home too. Don't even let him spend the money to come to the past and take you there. You think it's you want to come meet friend? You think this is a family reunion? Huh? This is not a family reunion. You understand? The most I said we will gather ourselves together. You understand for real? That's what it said. Gather ourselves. This is not okay. I'm gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna see Auntie Such this year. I'm gonna see Brother Such. I know I'm gonna give me a present. No, you sick. You sick. You understand? Read it again. Your glory is not good. Every one of us is supposed to understand how our glory is not good if we ain't doing account to what scripture said. Yeah? Come on. Know ye not that a little leaven, leaven if the whole lump? The Bible said the little leaven means your attitude, the things what you're supposed to fix, you don't fix it. The day of atonement came, you do not fix it. The Bible said that little leaven, leaven the whole lump. That means you're supposed to stay home. How you don't even understand what you're coming into. Come on. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven. The Bible says, clean yourself up. You've been around too long, but still have up. Still have attitude. Still don't want to humble down when your Lord speak. You still just want to just talk. No respect, disrespect, read. That ye may be a new lump. That he, you, or she, may be a new lump. See, come on. As ye are unleavened. As what? As ye are unleavened. Christ do not have no sin in him. That's what, that day, this day what coming up? That Passover, the day, you got guys supposed to understand. You're not supposed to have no living. You clean the car. You clean the kitchen. But what about you? What about yourself? What about yourself? I show me that you love yourself. That you will show me, show God. God, God knows that you're so dangerous. You know, many time God wants to make you sleep and don't wake. But I said, no, for real. You still have that. I like something inside of you. Let me see if it, you're going to change. And I think what you God like with you, you just always make the peace. When you come around, everybody laugh. You understand? Everyone laugh when you come around. People just like to see it when they don't see it. Hey, what happened to so and so? We never see him last week. You see what I'm saying? You don't understand, but watch this. Come on. For even Christ, our Passover. What? For even Christ, our Passover is sacrifice for us. So the Passover, brothers and sisters, you understand? Who's who? Christ. Christ is that Passover. So that every Passover you come to, you are at Debt to debt if you is not right. And you add sin. Because that's what it means. When I say debt to debt, you add sin to sin. You understand? Even Christ or Passover. Do what? Is sacrifice for us. His sacrifice do we just read in First Corinthians. Just now 11 verse 23 down to show you what the bread, what the wine is for. But I know when I go to the Passover. Hey, listen how dangerous it is with you. You have banana cake. You have coconut cake. Cheesecake. cheesecake. Every cake on the Passover board. And everybody want to taste this. Somebody says, hey, yes, this one tastes good. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you. I'm just here to just give you a rat. That's what I'm here to just give you. So you know for looking to yourself. Do you want to die and don't get the things what promises for you as a people? Oh, oh man, you're sick. You finished that? Come on. Therefore, let us keep the feast. So now it said, you better clean your living up. Make sure your heart is good with brothers. Make sure the thing what you do at home with your husband, the thing what you do with your kids at home. Because that's a problem too. You see what I'm saying? You don't treat the kids right. That's a problem. You understand? The Bible says your glory is not good. You have to treat the kids good. Give the kids. Teach them. Don't sit one side and when they come out of school, every other one 
been knowing the scripture, but your kids do not know the scripture. And don't tell me that they're too small to know the scripture. You understand? The Bible says, and that from a child, they should do what? Know these words. Don't tell me that. Can you see all these, all these young kids? We want to get them involved. You know why we want to get them involved? Because we want to break their mind back to this book. <clears throat> Not no game, no Xbox. Get them involved. That's the understand what's going on in this book. You see? Finish up that. Not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness. So I'm telling you, these are the things that you cannot come to the Passover with. But if you say you love yourself... Give me the leaven, what he's talking about. Read it one more time again. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Now with old leaven. Not with old leaven. Hear what it is. Come on. Neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness. No malice. No wickedness. So if you want a brother of something, and you talk to your brother shady, you understand for real? You know in yourself, said brothers, you can't hide, brother. You talk like you, you brother, brother, you come on, be, be, be fair with yourself. Sisters, be fair with yourself. You cannot hide. You see what I'm saying? Come on. But with the unleavened bread of sincerity and That's truth. That's what God wants. God wants you of the unsincerity. Unsinc sinc what? And truth. And truth. That's what God wants you to do. You see, so you can hide. No, but to come, you cannot hide. You cannot hide. You understand? John 14, verse 3. Give me John 14, verse 3. You see that? These are the things what you brothers and your sisters don't understand. Watch this. Read up for me. John chapter 14 and verse 3. Mm -hmm. And if I go and prepare a place for you. Stop. Stop. The one who laid on his life for you. And he just asks you, leave just some, uh, some bread. Bottle of wine and say, You see this wine right here? I want you to sip this cup. Sip it. Heat this bread. Have respect knowing this bread and this wine is my body. Do he remember of me? So now it's I'm telling you what he said when he left. Read right here. And if I go and prepare a place for you, he said, If I go and prepare a place for you. Hear what he said. I will come again. And he said, I will come again. That's what he said. So in his return, if you're not good, if your glory is not good, do not look to come and laugh or to come and sit. You understand for real? Because he makes you, you hey, you know, by if you're writing a letter to somebody, let's listen this good, and he use a red pen to write that letter. What, what is it? I think the last time I hear that's an insult, correct? So, listen, it's good. You see all these words, what you see written by your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? You see what he do? He write it in red. So, when he return, do not let him insult you because he gonna said, give me the one where he said, the one that said, Lord, 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 find me that. Seven verse what? Tell me. Let me tell you what's going on. Find me real quick. Matthew 7 verse what? 20 what? 1. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21. What is that? Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. You see that, brother man? You see that? So you know, eating the bread, drinking the wine. No Christ arrive. No, you're going to say, Lord, Lord, by eating the bread, drinking the wine. Do all the same thing like what the brothers and sisters in the sinful world did. And you want to say, Lord, 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 when you see everybody been leaving you, you sick. You sick. You supposed to know that, listen, the thing what I do, trust me. But you is the same one gonna call, Lord, Lord. What is gonna say? Lord, Lord, excuse me, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. If the one who doeth my Father will, that's the one. Come on. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Yes, brothers, yes. I can go back to tapes. I can go back to tapes, correct? I can go and show you guys when we used to hit the street. 
You understand when we used to start from what? Brooklyn, up there in Eastern Parkway, we go to far, we go to Rockaway, we go to where they, they end up the 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 train, the train at we go to Coney Island, the train would go to the last stop in Kanasi. We used to go there too. We can show you tapes, brother. We can show you where you guys are now. You're gonna say that when my king returned. Lord, Lord, because I've said my king, because I thought it was our king. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I have to say my king return. What is going to happen? Read. And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. What? I never knew you. That's what Christ kind of said. But if I tell you that right now, you're going to look at me like, this guy said, Oh, nobody can judge me. But that's what the scripture said. You eat the bread and drink the wine and word the least. Now you want to come to the Passover. Want to eat all type of these bread. The, what, what? Give me them. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Banana bread. Banana bread. Banana bread. Coconut bread. Coconut bread. <laughs> all these bread. No, brother. No, Christ returned on the Passover. Because I'm telling you, Christ going to return on the Passover. It's not no game. Whether you like it or not. That's going to be the new Passover, brothers. So when I'm saying it, just look into the spiritual part of it. God, Christ going to say, get thee behind me like oh, your grandmother. Get thee behind me, Satan. Christ going to say, get thee. I never know you. I never know you. Lord, Lord, I used to prophesy. Yo, I used to prophesy. Don't be a man. Yo, Christ, yes. Ask, ask or no. Don't, don't, don't even point at me, please. Don't. I'm just telling you straight up. Don't point at me. I'm going to say the same thing. I never know you. The Bible said the one who do it my will, him. I hear it. You see that? So the one who do it my will, that's the one who I'm going to work with. That's the one who I'm going to work with. We are for me. We're going to go back to John 14, verse 3 again. Because these things, what he said out of his own mouth, I believe these things. I love these things. I want to inherit these things. Come on. John chapter 14 and verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. You see that? You see how powerful it is, brother? And on earth, there's nobody receive us as a people. They use us and despise us on earth. So if God himself, you did, listen again, you brothers and sisters bugging out. God who created everything take you to be his special, his chosen, his peculiar. Give me some more name. Chosen, peculiar, priceless. Priceless. You. These all these things what Christ take you to be, brothers, you gonna let the things of this world, the things what entertain the brains, shrivel you down that you don't get the kingdom. You're sick. Brothers, you're sick. No friends. No wife, no kids, no. What do you call it again? You have some followers. You have a lot of many brothers like to follow. You understand? For real, just follow. People just put up something and they say, Yo, do you see that? Do you watch that? And when is it? As you watch it, boom. Everything what you did have, bold, doing everything to all the school, come, always be early, never yet late. No, where the guys at? Where are these brothers at? Where are they at? But these are the same spirit who leave no one to say they're going to keep the Passover. They still said they're going to keep the Passover. But brother, the Bible said you are creating damnation to yourself not discerning the Lord body. Many of you are weak and sickly around here. That's why I said, oh, you're so weak. That's you have a wife and she do not respect you. Because what? You're eating the bread and drinking the wine and the rightly. So the most says you're weak. No cure, all you want to scream at home, she still don't respect you. She will never do nothing what you said. I'm lying. Help me, help me. I want to hear a amen. amen. You hear that? I get some hey amen in the building. Because that's a fact. Why are you so weak? Why when you speak, she don't listen to nothing what you said? She just a bum on you like this, with one foot like this. And I knock on the counter of the kitchen. And you can't do nothing. 
I'm saying that's why many of your brothers go pick up the miss chick on the street. His brother can say, I do that. Because she wasn't listening to me. Because now you get to find out you have sin in this flesh, this body, what the most I give to you. The God said, Give me that what God said. We are the temple of God in Corinthians, real quick. Find me that Corinthians 3, verse something, verse 16. Let me show you what God said. If you love yourself, come on. If you love yourself, we're going to come back to John 14, please. Give it to me. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Whoa. So now you understand what the scripture said. The Bible said you supposed to know that you are the temple of God. Come on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. In you. We read that early on. The spirit. You understand? Many of your spirit going to live back in this world. The spirit of God dwelleth in us. Not every race on earth. That's why every nation on earth going to pay the price. And if not, you brother and sister will pay the price too. You don't get yourself right. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So all of your brothers with that defiled temple, do not come to the Passover, please. Sisters, do the same thing. To give your bishop laugh. Do not come to the Passover, please. I'm telling you, it's not good for your health. It's not good for your household. It's not good for the kids. You see? Go back to that John 14. Read. I'm just saying, I have a lot to take up, but I'm just one of those cruise right now. I don't feel like take all everything today. Come on. John chapter 14 verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. You hear that? You hear that brothers and sisters? You have to have a good listening and good ears. The Bible said, hi. Go and prepare a place for you and I will come and receive you again. Again, that's what the scripture said. He said, I'm going to come and receive you again. You see, come on. And whether I go, ye know. And the way, ye know. Yo, listen, this is good. For Christ, everywhere Christ has been going, I'm going to be there. <laughs> Boy. But, I, reading all these things, but when we were close, I forget. I do everything bad, everything wrong. And but yet still when the kingdom come, you still want to be in it. No, brothers, it's not gonna work. Your your mind I told you that. You understand? For read, you read the book upside it down. Watch this. Let me leave that. Give me that John. It's the same book, it's 651. Watch this. It's John 6 verse 51. Yes, the same book. Read that for me. If I go, I'm gonna prepare a place for you. The one who eat and drink. Concerned the Lord, buddy? Yes. But if you drink and heat and wordly, hmm, read it for me. This is the book of John, chapter 6 and verse 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So the, the bread and the wine, the Bible said, God, to his son Jesus Christ said, I am that living bread. So the bread, what you eat on the Passover, the bread, what you eat every Sabbath, that's not a piece of cake. That's a living bread. He said, I am that living bread. Come on. If any man eat of this bread. If any man eat of this bread, not unreadily. Come on. He shall live forever. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see that? The Bible said, he that eat of this bread you shall live forever. That's what the scripture said. You guys don't understand that? The Bible said that. Read the scripture again because listen, it's talking about, listen, we're going to go through stuff. We're going to get temptation. But we have to understand. Put the word first. Remember what he said. If he go through all these things, we're going to go through it too. That's why he said, do not eat and drink this unworthily. You're going through it now. 
Better is there for you. I'm going to prepare you somewhere more better than this place for you, God. Read one more time. I am the living bread. I, God, said to his son, Jesus Christ, Christ is that living bread. Come on. Which came down from heaven. Which came down from heaven. So that's why when he go back, he said, okay, I'm going to still be here. This wine, this bread, what you eat and drink every Sabbath, that's me, brothers and sisters. That's what he said. That's what he said out of his own mouth. You see that? So don't get it twisted. Brothers and sisters, the things what you do, and you just have it like, <laughs> that's nothing. Bro, you're going to get killed for it. You're going to get killed for it. You're going to get killed for it. Come on. If any man eat of this bread, if any man eat of this bread, come on, he shall live he forever. shall live for what? Forever. Forever. Come on. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. Yo, brothers, this said the bread, what I give is my flesh. Read. Which I will give for the life of the world. That's what God said, brothers. That's what God said. He gave his life for the world. Hey, you Christian over there, don't get it twisted. I'm going to slap you upside the head. Because I know you have Isaiah 45. Please. I know this Christian. See, see, shut up. You come. At a place you come to learn, I'm going to teach you something tonight. About the world. See, see, he said he died for the world. Give, give me that word real quick. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. You hear that? He said world. World without end. World without end. He said that out of his own mouth. Israel is that world without end. So that's what it said right here. When you go back to the John 6 verse 51. Read what it said. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Live forever. Come on. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The world. You know who's that world? We just read it. The Israelite world. You so-called black, you Hispanic, you native. You are that world. You better understand that. You better get it to your mind. Let you understand, said the Bible speak. Let the Bible speak. He's no more talking. No more talking, brothers and sisters. We talk too much. Talk, talk, talk. You talking ain't going nowhere. The bread, what you eat, remember that. It's going to give you life forever. You see that. So the scripture said, John 3 verse 12. And read, read from 11 to 13. Let you go in that John 3 16. We break it down for the people. Yeah, you don't understand us. Yeah, we're going to break it down for you. Now watch this. Read it for me. John chapter 3 verse 11. Mm -hmm. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen and ye receive not our witness. You see that? So the Bible said, we testify. You understand? Receive the things that we are testifying. And what's seen and was what received not, not our witness. We are that witness. Watch this. Read. Verse 12. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not. You see that? So the Bible said, Christ said, I said, I tell them about early things. And I'm still, I know they're not believing. I say I'm going to come back. I know you guys don't believe that I'm coming back. But, but listen, listen, listen. I just leave it because I know the real, real one going to understand and know that. I never yet tell nothing and it's not true. He said, listen, read one more time again right there. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? You see, that's how you're going to believe. How about the heavenly things? Well, I believe what I read, son. Christ said, in my father's house, I want many mansions. If I go, I'm going to prepare a place for you, brothers and the things what you go through and hurt. And if you uplift me, respect the blood and the wine, the, which is the wine and the bread, which is my body where you drink every week, I'm going to give you life forever. And anywhere I go, you're going to be there too. But you believe that. You don't believe. 
you don't love yourself. If you eat this bread and word and drink this cup, man, you don't believe that. Come on, read that. And no man hath ascended up to heaven. And no man ascended up to heaven. Come on. But he that came down from heaven. But he that came down from heaven. Come on. Even the son of man which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. He is in heaven. He was a man. It wasn't an angel. He was a man. That's why he said the son of man. He laid on his life for you. It was not an angel, brother. He born from a woman and a man. And he laid on his life for you. Show you how precious and how great we are. Other people and her. But when we supposed us drink the wine, just show some respect and break the bread. Do the right thing. The Bible said, you brother still messing up. That's why you have to die. You can't escape the judgment, brothers and sisters. You will never, ever escape this judgment. Look here what you want to tell me. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you another thing with you, brothers and your sisters. Too. You understand for real? You see? Read it for me. Start from Leviticus 21. You know I'm saying? I'm going to just show you something about yourself. Because remember, why I want to show you something about yourself? All that real quick. Give me that Corinthians 11 verse 8. And verse 7 and 8. Give me that real quick. That's why I want to go over here. You see? Real quick. Give me that real quick. Yes, sir. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. But the woman of the man, come on. Neither was the man created for the woman. No, start from verse 7. That's what I want. Start yes, from verse 7. Watch yes. this, come on. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. I just want to make paint another picture. The Bible said we are the image and the glory of God. Why I'm going through this? Because the image, what you see, you don't look at it like it's the image and the glory of God. You look at it like this. Okay, my name is Tommy. Okay, this is Tommy looking at Tommy. You crazy son. The Bible said that's the image of God. That's the image you're looking at. You look on the TV right now. You see me. That's the image and the glory you're seeing right there. Look at Mr. Seth. That's the image. That's the glory. That's God right there. And her. You see that? Watch this. We are God. Huh? Verse 7. Give it up real quick. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. That's what God said. He is the image and the glory of God. Read. But the woman is the glory of the man. The woman. The woman is the glory of the man. You better look at your gods and hurt. Look at the gods and hurt. Look at your Lord. You was not created for the man. The man was not created for you. You created for him. That's what he said, right? Yes, sir. Come on. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. That's what the Bible said. We don't we, the woman. Listen, we don't we. You understand? Plant that seed. There is no where a woman could farm up on the face of the earth. Look here what you want to tell me. Real talk. Said a woman over here and a man over here. And we don't touch each other. No kids. The woman cannot stand right there and get no kids. Unless the gods come over here and throw water in her kicker. <laughs> you see that? I got to put that in our song. You see that? <laughs> That's what God said. If I don't step over here. Listen, the woman over on this side right here. Okay, and I am the lion over here, and I don't step to you as a lion and put water in your keker, you will never have a kid and hurt. You believe that? So the scripture said. So the Bible are letting you know who are the gods and hurt. So I'm gonna show you some things what your brothers don't even take to mind. You see, the things what you see in front of you, many, many brothers don't like that. You see know what I'm saying? But watch this. Give me that Leviticus 21. Start from around verse 17. Read it for me. Because you brothers going to understand what really coming from. Read that for me. Yes. 
Excuse me. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 17. Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generations. In their generation. Seed in their generation. Come on. That hath any blemish. Mm -hmm. Let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. You brothers, in the time. Let's listen to this word. In the time. In the time. Sorry. Before we come on this side, when we used to walk with Moses and Aaron. The Bible said, if a man have a little blemish, and the Bible is going to tell you what the blemish, you could never came to the temple. But now under Christ, that's why I said, how oh, you will have the wine and the bread? Under Moses, trust me, you do such thing, your life is going to shed. You understand for real? We have to kill some dove if it's a sin where you commit, what you don't have to go to the death chamber. Sounds kind of dead chamber. He's you stand up right there and everybody stone you to death. Nobody gonna say stop. And you have some big feet, it's like tall. And when they slap, sometimes they eat you one time and you die. And some people still still throwing rocks at you, you die with one hit. You see? So now the Bible I show you if you have this blemish, you understand, you still can get repentant. But brothers looking in the glass and looking at yourself under the evil. God said that's the image and the glory of God. You understand the Bible says, whether you be like this, you are the same image and that glory. Read it for me. Come on. For, for whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach a blind man. A blind man. So if you brother is blind, I'm saying for real. The Bible said repentance is there for you too. A blind man could never enter into the temple when the temple was up. You see? Come on. Or lame. Are you lame? You have nine toes. Sometimes you toe twist. You understand? For real. You walk. You understand? For real. Like your whole. The Bible said, come on. Repentance is there for you. You are that image. You are that glory. That are the God. Come on. Or he that hath a flat nose. <laughs> yeah. The Bible said, if you have a flat nose. You ever see? Hey, I suppose send that flip, man. With a brother with the nose, man. I forget, man. For real. I forget we should send you that, man. If you have what? A flat nose. If you have a flat nose, you are the image and the glory of God. Or sometimes you brothers don't even like to see yourself. Your sister don't even like to see yourself. You understand? For real. You have that glory. Listen, come on. Stay in your lane. Most of us are going to make the woman like a palace. And so they're going to make the man like a what? A palace, what? Stone or something. Come on. Or anything superfluous. Or anything what? Superfluous. Or anything superfluous. Watch this. Come on. Or a man that is broken footed. How you feet broken footed. Not broke like you fall off a tree. You don't walk right. You is the image and the glory of God. Many of you don't like yourself. You hate yourself. You want to be like that person who can walk with two. No. God said not everybody's going to bond that way. You're going to bond just like how I'm going to make you bond on earth. Whether you like it or not. You see, that's what God said. Come on. Or broken handed. Are you broken handed? Your hand look like. Wake up now. A kangaroo. You ever see a kangaroo hand? If your hand look that way, God made you that way. God said, that's the image. That's my glory over there. You can repent under the time of Moses. Oh, you have to stay out. No, no, no. God don't want to see you. God said, okay. I got to send my son. I just have to just give him all praise because he's the one who said, dad, listen, <laughs> you have life. He have life to you and repentance. I gonna make him when he come into the in, into the 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 kingdom. I gonna punish him up. I make him be that goal, like Ophir, Ophir, yeah. Ophir. Ha! Read or crook backed. Now, wife, your husband back is crook. God made him that way. Doctor cannot save that back. Maybe doctor can give you what? A kidney. Maybe a liver. 
but crumb back. Oh, God made him that way. Love yourself. Love him. You see his face. You have a nice face, right? But you never know you have a crunk back until he take his clothes off. That brother used to use what do you call it again? This thing to strap and strap his back. That's what you can see is have a hunchback. Now you married, you have a problem because you have a hunchback. When he take up his clothes and go into the bathroom, everything drop. <laughs> God make him that way. That's the image and the glory of God. So if you love yourself, because remember, you became one flesh now. You never know you have a hunchback sister. No, God says, see, you have what right now. See, come on. Or a dwarf. Or a what? A dwarf. You know who is a dwarf? You know who is a dwarf? If you is not five foot six, you are a dwarf. I'm telling you, don't tell me five five. You is a dwarf. <laughs> if you want to be, you is a dwarf. But you still can't get a wife. You is the image and the glory of God. Oh, praises. So listen, this is good. If I ever pull up my tape, brother, <laughs> and you do not make that five feet six, you is a dwarf. What do you say about that? <laughs> I'm so Enoch. <laughs> you love it. No. But I'm just saying, real talk. Just, 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 just that. No disrespect to no brothers. Yeah, my brother's same. But God said it. You have to love yourself. Your wife have to love you, man. You know what I'm saying? For real. The brother who had that broken foot. I, I, no, God said, I made him that way. Nobody cannot change that. You see that? But what I'm saying, our Bible said he is the image and the glory of God. That's what the Bible said. You see that? Come on. Or that hath a blemish in his eye. And you know many brothers have a little blemish in their eyes. Might be you don't see them as yet, but they're coming. You see what I'm saying? These brothers could never get to the temple. But now under Christ, you can get repent. You can get for last in life. You see? Come on. Or scabbed. Or what? Or scabbed. Scabbed. You know some people with no care what type of lotion they rub on the feet. It seems like they have some scale like a fish. You ever see that yet? Yes, I did. I don't know, know a girl named Sister. She, yo, until this day, she does scab. No care what. She will use the lotion, but you can see the scab through the, through the lotion. I don't know how she she bound that way. But God said that people gonna bond this way. You can't do nothing about that. You have to love yourself. You bond that way. Come on. Or hath his stones broken? Oh no, man. Oh God is dangerous. God said, I make brothers with their tone broken. Can't have kids. God said, that's my image right you see right there. That's the image and the glory of God. But many of you do not love yourself. You hate what you see in the mirror. You want to be like so and so. You understand? That's why you many of your sister put that whole lot of paint on your face. Just paint it. Man, I want to find that nose, virgin. I see that nose the other day. I have the thing to present to you, man. For real. Bro, that nose covered the brother's whole face. But God said, that's the image and the glory of God. Man, I have that thing. We have to have it again. Please, help me, help me. Somebody send me that thing the other day and I have it up. I said, damn, this brother nose covered his face. Let me see if I can find it, man. I want to find that, man, for real. Lord, help me. Let me find it. That brother nose covered his face. But it look good. You understand? It's the only way if you penetrate in the nose, that's the only way you're going to have a problem with his nose. But it's looking at him normally. He's, he's good. But let me find that nose, man. I want to find that nose. Lord, help me to find it. I want to send that nose up on the screen. Let's just see nose. 
what God said is the image and the glory of God. Oh, man. Watch this. Let me find that nose. Come on. You finished that? Okay, so now, God has shown you how he made people. You understand? And sometimes when he made them like that, some people do not love themselves. But what we have to do, we have to understand and know that, listen, that's God. You see what I'm saying? Look at this guy over here. He gone. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you. But what? You're going to pay for it. These brothers, if I die before I see it happen, you're going to see for yourself. You're going to kill yourself. You're going to commit suicide. Tell me. When reality kick in, you're going to kill yourself. So you finish that. Give me liberty cost. Hmm. Liberty cost 30. 30 verse 41. Find me that real quick. So watch this. I want to find that nose, man. That nose. I can't remember where I see it. I was looking about this nose, what I see the other day. I hear, listen, I have a nose, you know, bro, but my nose is not so bad. You know what I'm saying? Don't even worry about my nose. You know I'm saying? I feel good with my nose, brethren. I sleep good at night. I don't sleep and snore. That means I have the best nose. People that sleep and snore, something wrong. You know You should have a nose like me. <laughs> Just blow real freely. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, I like my nose. Thank you, Lord. Give me another nose like this in the kingdom. Just like this. Right? <laughs> what do you say about it? Seth. <laughs> you see this brother with a little squingy nose, like a little woman nose? <laughs> Something wrong with that nose, but you, you better check. Huh? Yeah, the Michael Jackson nose. You better. <laughs> You want a nose like a trumpet. One side of it like a trumpet. <laughs> you ever see the mouth of a trumpet? Yeah, man, for real. Man, I want to find that nose, virgin. That nose was giving me a problem the other day when I see it. I said, damn, Lord. Somebody send me back that nose, please. Send me. The same person who sent me the nose, send me back. I'm here waiting on it. So now, we're going to go into the scripture. Give me that real quick in Leviticus 30, 41. You know 30? If it, all right, I want 341 then. I suppose the 341. 341. It's must that. Every week I write on something, I made, I made the wrong thing, but it's 341. I believe it's 341. This is it, man. For real. Damn, it's not that. Damn. Boy, all is messed up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give me Amos 8, 8 and 10. Amos 8 and 10. For real. Every week I made a bad mistake. Bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Israel. I'll go get it right. One week we're going to come. Huh? Yes, sir. Amos chapter 8 and 10. Can you? Yes. Read. This is the book of Amos chapter 8 and verse 10. And I will turn your feast into mourning. So the Bible said. He gonna turn our feast into mourning. Our feast into mourning, virgin. You guys don't understand, virgin. Read. And all your songs into lamentation. And all the songs what you put above what the songs what we're supposed to do. The most I said. Your song's gonna be what? Uh, into lamentation. Into mourning. Lamentation means same way. Come on. And I will bring up sackcloth. And God said he's going to bring up this. God, these are the things what you brothers going to turn to God when you start to feel the energy, the, the, the reflection from eating the bread, drinking the wine. Watch this, come on. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins. And the Bible said he's going to bring up sackcloth from all of your lines. Come on. And boldness upon every head. And boldness on what? Upon every head. On every head. So now, brethren, if you brothers visit the bald spot and see that you have a bald spot in the head middle, so now why when you have a bald spot in the head middle? It has a problem. And we just read, say, God said, you are the image and the glory of God. You know what some brother will do? Some brother will find the thing where to make the head middle grow back. <laughs> that means you don't like to, when you look in the glass to all you stay. But God said, you are that image and that glory. I'm lying. Help me, help me. 
So many of you brothers, what the bar, the head middle bar, because what? Moses said, listen, that's all. You used to be in the past. That's what's going to make your head look like that. Like, you know, the top of a, listen. You, you ever see a pool before? Huh? A pool of a lot of grass around here. Yeah. And the head middle is the water. The pond. <laughs> it's the pond. So, if God make you like that, God said, I create you in the image and the glory of God. Your wife's supposed to love that. I'm saying, you're supposed to love that. Don't want to cut off all the ear. And when I'm looking at you, I say, no, for real. He, he don't know here on his But when you go close, he want to justify himself. See? See, brother? Stop. Stop. The Bible said, you are the image and the glory of God. If you have a bald spot, give me that in liberty cost. Let me find out that real quick. <laughs> Understand where it said uh, Exodus 30, something like that. Where it says if you have a bald spot. Yes, find me that. Or 13 something. 13 verse 41. Find me that. I believe a 13 for the one. You do for 13 verse 41. Ah. Find me that. So if you have that little bald spot in the middle, hold it. Keep yourself quiet. You're good. Don't worry about your wife if she don't like it. You should better love it. You see what I'm saying? Sit with it. Because some of the prophets before us, that's all they I believe I, I, Elijah looked that way with a bald spot in the middle. I believe so. I was looking at some picture with some of the prophets. Read it for me real quick. Leviticus chapter 13 verse 41. And he that hath his hair fallen off from the part of his head toward his face, he is forehead bald. Come yet, on. Yet he is clean. You see that? So the Bible said, when you pour a bar, like the hair been falling, you grow. Because when he was a kid, you have hardly hair on your head. But now you reach a man, you start to see the hair start to fall. And it's some, sometimes, brother, I see your brothers, what those hairs would just start to start to fall from the end. Believe me, bro. If when everything falls out, <laughs> you're going to be like, damn, this is me. Yeah, this is you. You understand? Reality just kick in. It just kick in, brother. That's you. But God said, you are the image and the glory of God. And why I'm laughing? I'm not laughing to disrespect none of you guys. Just listen, it's good. Because if I'm laughing after the image and the glory of God, that means I don't like you and I don't like myself. I'm just laughing after the fact you want to rub something in the end middle to make it grow back. When God said, you are the image and the glory of God. That's what I said. Do you really, really like or love yourself? Show God. Don't show the earth. You understand what earth want? The earth want to reform the image, what they would like in their thought and bring it to you for you to bring that image to them. Stop. Stop make earth, people and earth, mess with your godly meditation. God said that's you. I'm you and I see you. I'm looking at the image what I create. You understand it's not a normal man use gods and hurt. But sometimes you guys you just scratch your head because your wife, oh babes, go, go cut your ear. You cut it down so 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 low. Oh, I'm saying that. She said, boy. Every time I said it, you understand. No, brother, try to justify it. No, 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 no. See, see, see how I don't ball. It's me, 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 me supposed to do that. So I'm saying, my headline, I always have to try to make headline. That's all my hair grow. You see what I'm saying? If, if I shave it and I see something look bright and rosy tomorrow, mm -mm, it's not there. You see what I'm saying? That's how it go. But if you look into the mirror and look on yourself and your ear and the ear start to fall from the middle, what you're supposed to say? I say, okay, for real. God like kicking in now. Let me see your gods and hurt look. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you have to do. You see what I'm saying? For real. You have to get that. So if you love yourself, you're going to make when your hair start to fall, you make it stay like, oh, God said, it's about to fall. You see what I'm saying? Because I hear the other thing. What's the name again? What's the thing name? What they rub in the head middle and the hair and the rub on the beard and the beard come back? Rogan. Huh? Banaxidel. I hear that thing playing with your manlyhood. You see what I'm saying? I hear after a time it's going to make your thing start to fall. You understand? You ever see a banana 
three, four days. Look at it. How they cut a banana tree. They cut it like that and it fall like that. You see what I'm saying? Or it's still hanging. That's the same thing going to happen to you guys. But you guys looking at it, you want to bring the image to the brother looking at you like, <laughs> you, you, your head little falling on. Leave him alone. You don't understand that. That's what all brothers and all people play with your manly wood. Laugh you. Brother, the Bible said, why you worry? You understand? When I make you like gods up and hurt. That's what God said. You are gods and hurt. Give me that. The Bible says you clean. You clean. You clean. Unhurt. I'm saying. Give me that. So, Act 30, verse 23. The Bible tell you what you're supposed to do, brothers and sisters. Don't get it twisted. Let me go to the good book of Sirach. You see what I'm saying? The Bible got to tell you what you're supposed to do. Give me that real quick. This is the book of Sirach. Ecclesiastes chapter 30 and verse 23. Love thine own soul. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the Bible said, love your own soul. Your soul dwell inside that flesh, that body, what the most I give to you. The Bible said, love it. Love it, brothers and sisters. Love what you had. You know what I'm saying? For real. And sometimes, because I used to use a word by name, fat. People like me call it fat. Some of you sisters cannot get slim. So when I use that word fat, don't get it twisted. Don't mad at me. Don't say, oh, I don't want to listen to his class no more. He called me fat. No. When I say fat, you can know brothers were fat. You can know these brothers. They just eat out of proportion. These are the brothers and these are the sisters who to lose weight. Your sister were born with a big bone. You cannot get slim. So if you try to get slim, you're going to look like somebody who on crack and cocaine. You see what I'm saying? I'm lying. Or somebody who, who what I said, I say no, maybe I'm sick of cell. Because you know when people have sick of cell, what they did, the white fight with the red and the white always overcome. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not eating. God, look at look at Seth. You think Seth can get slim? Seth can't get slim. Don't burn the fat. If yeah. Seth gets slim, he's gonna look like somebody who wants crack and cocaine. And cocaine. You see what I'm saying? It's the only thing if he wanna lose, he's gonna talk about. He just wanna just lose a little bit. But if he get like me, <laughs> And you know when I'm getting fat, I don't like that. But sometimes I just get fat. Like when I go home, and I just sit and rest for sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not fat. I just get thick. You know what I'm saying? That's so better, right? Yeah, I just get thick. You see? But I'm just saying, we have to love ourselves, brethren. Love yourself means you're going to eat the maximum of food. But God said, God said, eat a little bit, not a lot. You see what I'm saying? You eat too much, you don't love yourself. You hate yourself. Because that's what God said. That's my image right there. God wasn't a fat man. Christ was a fat. Because I read about him. Let me read about Christ real quick. Let me see if Christ was fat. Give me that in 2nd Ezra real quick. Verse 2, verse 40. Let me read about Christ. How he looked like him. Somebody who fat cannot have this height. Sin. Read that for me. You got it? 2 verse 40. Our 42, start from there. Second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 40. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. You see that this one, what is said, take what? And what? Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Read. Verse 43. Sorry, 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion the a great people. That's the first one I want. Whom I could not number, mm -hmm. and they all praised the Lord with song. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature. Come on. Taller than all the rest. That's Jesus of Christ. You understand? That's Jesus of Christ. So are you little Rastafari, I call it, lover, talking about emperors last year. Emperor Celestia was a midget. He was 5'5". Five, five. He was a midget. Yeah. Yes, I said it. He was 5'5". Five. He five. He's a midget. He could never identify to be the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Read it one more time again. Taller than the rest. Come on. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. Taller than all the rest. So come back to what I was saying now. You see what I'm saying? People, brothers and sisters, I'm not not, listen, that, that's all. 
Oh, I talk. Sometimes I talk, you feel hurt. Sometimes I talk in my house to wifey hurt. She make up her face. After that, she said, baby, you know what he was saying? Yes, yes, I acknowledge you mad because you went silent. <laughs> you went silent. I understand you mad, but okay, our praises. Okay, I'm sorry. You understand? You're mad, but you know you're fat, right? She don't like that. <laughs> Yo, if I tell my wife she fat, you run the whole place down. Yes, you know you're fat. Just run off that fat. The fat the place what you said you know you're fat. Just run it up. That's no problem. She was mad, but you are two days. She good again. You see? So I'm just saying, go back to the script real quick. Where it was? Sirach chapter 30, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Love thine own soul. The Bible said, love your own soul. Whether you're short, five, five, midget, you five feet, six, you just a little past midget, you good. Whether you're tall, you good. Whether you're fat, you good. Whether you're slim, you good. But you have to understand, if you eat and be fat, you need to lose weight. You have to show God that say you love yourself. The Bible said, love your own soul. Come on. And comfort thy heart. And comfort your heart, your mind, your brain. Don't sleep at night and be turned and twisting in your bed. You understand? If you want to get married, sister, don't wait. Go get married. Don't go back to your hex because your hex is next. That's what I said. That's why many of you go back to him. You see what I'm saying? The Bible said that. Go get married. Go get married. Don't stay at home. Your brother's talking about your fixing. You want to get the spirit right. And you is a brother who's always messing up. Go get married. Leave your mommy house. Why sitting down scratching? How much money you save already? You don't have none. But you're working every day. Brother, sit the hell down. You ain't going to get married and still walking with a stick. You understand? For real. You ever see somebody walking with a stick yet? You don't let me even have to try that. You see that? You brother's going to get there. Show me you love yourself. Do what God said. God said, listen, show me you love yourself. Give me that love. You know what I'm saying? God said, if you love me, keep my commandment. Stay in that problem. So stay in that in Sarah 30. Watch this. Read this for me right here. Read from verse 16. Sirach 30 and 16. So no, no, 31 and 16. Read it for me first. Sirach chapter 31 and verse 16. Eat as it becometh a man. Those Go on. Eat as it becometh a man those things which are set before thee, and devour not. The Bible said, do not eat like a dragon. And I never see a dragon here. Let, let me use things what people ever see here. Do not eat like one of those. What do you call this thing again? Come out of dragons. They will eat half what some animal will use for two days. They eat up in what, three hours. They eat up that. No bones, everything they Keep going down. Don't eat like that. Come on. And devour not. And do not devour your brothers, sister, sisters, especially some of you brothers who still will go around the people who keep that Thanksgiving and all these days and eat. Come to the Passover, brothers. This is not, I'm saying, this is who? You're talking about Jesus Christ right here. His body. You know, come to the Passover. Yes. But do not eat like what you feel like. Say, is you want a belly full and you want to carry home a plate? No, you cannot take home a plate. You know what I'm saying? The plate, where you want to take home, you better take it home in the spirit. When you eat, that's it. Come on. Lest thou be hated. Lest you be hated. Come on. Leave all for man's sake and be not unsatiable, lest thou offend. You know what I'm saying? You will offend. Stretch your hand over the table. <laughs> Huh. Come on, he's going to tell you, come on. When thou sittest among many, reach not thine hand out first of all. You see that? You see that? So now, when you come to the Passover this year, I just want to just read this thing out for you, brothers and your sister. You come to the Passover, you better sit down and do everything decent in order. If they tell you, this group go up first, go up, take, sit. Maybe the first go is somebody share you don't get the thing what you like. Just come and sit. You understand? For real. God are trying your spirit. Whether you come there to just eat or you come to show up respect for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying? Sit down until I said, okay, you guys can come again. God will let you come again. You see what I'm saying? Come on. 
A very little is sufficient you for a that? man. The well, Bible said, listen good. The very little. No, that's what I want out of this verse, man. A very little is sufficient for the body. You see that? Not want to eat half the old lamb. You alone want to just eat, eat, eat. Fella, for real. I don't eat meat, but I said on that day, I stretch my hands over and I heat and I heat, but I'm not saying it's a bellyful. I just want to just eat because I say, okay, this is Christ. I want to make sure I get a good, comfortable eat. You see what I'm saying? But some man just want to eat like, no, remember, this is going to be a spiritual ground. We are here to what? Celebrate and do it and remember the things what, the, what God sent his son. To do for us, brethren, to give us that second chance that we can think about our next Passover. That's what you're here doing. This Passover is going to be dreadful and terrible, brothers and sisters. He's no laughing, no, no joke when that Passover arrives. You understand? These people are going to scream. You're going to hear the whole city screaming, brothers and sisters. It's a joke thing. I'm saying screaming for their life, and there's nobody to save. But the one for them four thousand, you see that. So you brothers and your sister, you better get yourself up. Follow these brothers and these sister with this garbage talking about. So I'm saying we have to celebrate the Passover and keep it. Thus said the Lord, Lamb are you get a goat. I'm saying and we have to do it. Thus said the Lord too. Don't buy a barbecue now. You want a brown stew? Ain't crazy or some fried goat? No, burn it. That's what the Bible said. Come on. A very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured. Come on. And he fetcheth not his wind short upon his bed. You see, when you eat too much, that's why many brothers eat until when you see their stomach, it way up here. You understand? Because you eat and when you go lay down, what the food do? The food come back up. So you what the food do? The food push your intestines. What the card again? You eat your intestine. The intestine, it push it back up. Because when you lay down, what? Huh? The, the thing, what, how many of you guys like to eat a chicken, chicken, that beef, beef every day? That's why you see your stomach so tough, like rock inside of it. Because what? When you eat, you just go lay down. When you eat, do not eat anything hot and drink cold ice water behind it. It's a problem. That's why me and you have that tough gut. If I try that, my tongue is roast and everything. No. If you want to drink water behind it, drink room temperature water. Trust me. The ice, they know why. The white man know why he put the ice up. It destroyed us other people. You understand for real? It play with the blood. Hot and cold and good for the inside of no man. It's good for the other nation. Because that's how God created them. See what I'm saying? Real. Verse 20. Sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. You see what I'm saying? So the Bible tells if you love yourself, brothers and sisters, that's all the Bible said. Sound sleep came from moderate eating. A little. The Bible makes sure to tell you a little is good for the body. Not a lot. You have some people going to fast too and they want to eat down the whole fridge because they're going to fast. No. That's why you're so hungry. That's why you have to break the fast. You see what I'm saying? You just eat a little. A lot of fruits, that's good. Small meal, boom, the fast is good. Read. He riseth early, and his wits are with him. The Bible said that. Come on. But the pain of watching and cola or pangs of the belly are with an unsatiable man. You never know these things in the Bible. When, it, when a doctor tell you, you have, you have gone to go, what they call it, colon cleanse. You understand for real, you have to. These things are in the book. We just read it just there. So the Bible says, if you eat a little, you don't have to go through that. You understand? For real. You're going to be good. Jump over to Proverbs 30. No, no, no. Same book. Chapter 30, verse 24. Pro, excuse me. Sirach, chapter 30, verse 24. Envy and wrath, short in the life. You see that? So if you love yourself, don't come to the Passover with your envy and your wrath. The Bible said, that's short in life. Brothers and sisters, every one of you are brothers and sisters. That is the scripture coming out. I just want to just, because I love you all, man. I don't want to see your brothers and sisters destroy yourself. 
If you know you're not right, stay home. Watch her get the tape on Facebook someday, somewhere. But not to come to the You ain't right. You understand? The Bible says, envy and wrath shorten your days. That's why we read 1 Corinthians. To tell you, brothers, and tell you, sisters, do not come to the Passover. Do not come to the Passover with no living. You must purge out the old living and become a new lump. Just like when you clean the kitchen, take out all the things from the pantry and put on the table, do the same thing with you. That's what the scripture said. Finish up that. And being wrath short in the life and carefulness bringeth age before the time. That's why many of you look like you're 75. When you, I'm older than many of you guys. But you guys look like you're older than me. Because what God said, these are the things what bring short in your life. Make you look like you're 75 when you're just 25. You know I'm saying? That's what the Bible said. So if you love yourself, oh, I got to read all these things and navigate myself on the right path. You know what God said? That's what God said. God said it, not me saying it. You want to say that I said it, but it's God said it. You see know what I'm saying? Jump down to 31 and verse 12. Let me see that. Come on. Sirach chapter 31, verse 12. Mm -hmm. If thou sit at a bountiful table, come on. Be not greedy upon it. The Bible said, do not be greedy. Just because it's a lot. I'm talking to all of you coming up to the Passover. And I want you to come to the Passover. But I'm just giving you the things what you can use in your arsenal to be good. You see what I'm saying? Read it one more time. If thou sit at a bountiful table, come on. Be not greedy upon it. Do not greedy just because you see a lot of food. You see, yes, everybody should have some bread. Because seven days you have to eat and live in bread, correct? Yes, I understand that. But eating that bread for seven days, this isn't good. Eating that bread for seven days, brothers, remember, the journey do not stop on the day of Passover. Do you get that, brothers and sisters? The, 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 the journey of the Passover do not stop on the 14th going to the 15 days. After that, you have to eat what? Seven days worth of unliving bread. It's not cake, brothers. You understand? For real. So if you do not, you can get a big slum, okay? If you get five pieces, brother, you slice them up. Do you understand? I'm just giving you the medicine, brothers and sisters. Giving you the medicines. Because I'm showing you, I just want to show you that, virgin. The time is near. The time comes for we have to understand and know how to love ourselves. And love each other too. You see, that's what I'm showing. Love to each other. You see? So if you have the five pieces of bread and you have to eat it seven days, what I would do, I'd cut one piece in half. Boom. So one piece I cut in half, I have what? Six piece, and I boom, I slice the next piece, and I got what? Eight piece. So that's how I would do it. I'm going to teach you guys wisdom, you guys wisdom, how to do the Passover. I right? Come on, read. If thou sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, mm -hmm. and say not, there is much meat on it. No, don't say that. Come on. Remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing. You see that? The Bible said that. You understand? And these are the things you give brothers and sisters spirit to. Because a brother will look and I say, damn, why are you so damn grieving? <laughs> I'm telling you. You at the same time stretching and five times, you will give another brother spirit. Let's be calm. Let's be calm. I understand. I understand like to eat. But the first scripture I pulled, I said, eat from home. Eat. Eat from home. If you feel like, say, you're going to be so, eat, eat, eat. Because remember, we have to pull out all the curses what the most I bull, bring, bring upon the Egyptians. We have to pull out all these curses. So you're going to take our time. You're going to take care like an hour too, right? On that, before some eating, just crack some, some lamb. So if you, brothers, cook early, early, that you can have. And listen, brothers, do not cook nothing with no living on top. You want to leave over. Remember, I'm telling you, I see every Passover, especially when we take the bus, I see brothers and sisters. Oh, 
What about that? You chicken? Ah, yes. Forget. Forget because what? You like to eat. You like to eat. You're not concerning this is the day of our Lord and Savior and the body. We have to do it for after the Passover, seven more days. We have to do that. You guys take it like it's a regular Sabbath. After it get dark, okay, we can eat anything again. No, brothers, listen good. This is the Passover. Trust me. You love your... You see that? I'm just twisting it and ring it and going... Yes, yes. I'm saying it. This is the Passover. We have to know what we're doing on the Passover. We have to be slick. Just... You see your brothers, you're good at... When you used to be out here, you know what and what to buy to put on a Christmas tree. You know every move. You know the type of thing where you used to put under the tree. But when it comes to the Most High God and His and Son... You guys do not show the respect what you're supposed to show, man. You see that? So we have to come back to that. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. A few more scriptures because the time going. You understand? For real. What I just read. Love not your own self. Something like that. Okay. All right. Give me that. Give me that in. Isaiah 53 verse 2. Find me that. Hmm. Watch this. We are the sons of God. Look. You have to do that. He do everything for us. Why we, listen, every nation and herd been watching we as a people. You understand? Be mad as a people. And comfortable as a people. You understand? Because what? We are reviving. Read it from the man. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 2. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. He shall grow up before him as a tender plant. Come on. And as a root out of a dry ground. And as a root out of a dry ground. Come on. He hath no form nor comeliness. He hath no form nor comeliness. Come on, you see that? He never yet bleaches his skin. He never yet tried to put his nose up. You understand? He be satisfied because he know nobody, no race on earth more better and more greater than him. Yes, Just like that, we have to do that. We have to say this. Oh, Christ. No, but you want to say you love him. You don't understand, virgin, where you're talking about love. If you love him, you're going to leave your bald spot in the middle. Just like that. You're going to leave your hunchback. You're going to lose your broken tone. You're going to... The Bible said that. You understand for real? You guys don't know that. Come on. He have no form nor comeliness. Come on. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Yes, but you say you love him. So when you see him, just because he looked like that, you're going to turn away. You're crazy. You guys, you, you don't know what is love, brothers. You understand for real? This is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right here. When he come and hurt, the Bible said there is no beauty in him. He will never have no comeliness in him. These are the things like that. He never bleached his skin. He never tried to make his afro to be so cute. Like you see some of your brother want to cut your afro so neat and nice. No, Christ was rather muffin. When you see him coming, you understand what time it is. So I'm saying he wasn't a bomb either. For real. But I'm just saying we have to love ourselves. He never changed nothing. He leave it just like that. You see? Come on. Verse 3, he is despised and rejected of men. He was, he was rejected of men. Despised and rejected. You know what I'm saying? And he loved himself. He loved himself. You know, poverty is God is the one who give the love. Not men. Not men. God said, I pick you out of all race and hurt. He is the one who showed the love. But when we supposed to love ourselves, no, we don't feel satisfied with the head. We don't feel... <laughs> You coming at the Passover with that, like your bougie over here. Watch this, Isaiah 56, verse 3. All right, listen, man, for real. I have so much, but it's only that I can bring out. You understand? Because I did just want to take my time to make the sense, as your brother and sister understand, you know what I'm saying, about the Passover. See? All right, come on. Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 3. Uh-huh. Neither let the son of the stranger uh -huh. have... Come on. 
that have joined himself to the Lord. Come on. Speak, saying, the Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. You see what I'm saying? Do not say that, brother. You understand? The Bible is going to tell you who he are telling, do not say that. Because every one of you feel like everybody on the face of the earth born perfect. Is everybody will come to the truth, they're perfect. You understand? Come on. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. Some brothers who come to the truth, they are a eunuch. But not because they don't tell you their business. Why you just sit down and every time you ask, say, oh, you don't want to get married? Yes, but I don't ready yet. I'm fixing myself. He ain't going to tell you that. Listen, I'm a dry tree, son. I'm a eunuch. He ain't going to tell you that, brother. So you brothers and your brothers and sisters know that. Listen, just know that, brethren. That's how God said it. You see what I'm saying? That's how God said it. But God has something for you, brothers, if you inherit. You understand? If you endure to the end. Come on. Verse 4. Uh -huh. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs Come on. that keep my Sabbaths. That's what? That keep my Sabbaths. So you're not going to be in this truth. What going to come at the Passover too? You're gonna, these are the men what going to be there too, brothers. Come on. And choose the things that please me. And the Bible said these you're not going to choose the things that please God. Read. And take hold of my covenant. And take hold of God's covenant. Come on. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than of sons and of daughters. Why? You see that, brother? So no, when I'm in reading the scripture, if God didn't make me that way, you know what I feel? I would have feel, I would have feel so good in myself. For know that God said, brother, if you just make it unto the end, in my house, I'm going to give you a name and a place more better than the brothers who have kids in this life. That's what the Bible said. That's what the Bible said. You see that? The Bible said it. In my house, I'm going to give you a kingdom more. John 14, verse 1. And that's what I have to leave with you, brothers and your sisters, tonight. I pray your brothers and your sisters stick to it and stay in the spirit. Already. Oh, that sound. That sound like we can go into a song. Yeah. Read it for me. John, chapter 14, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So if you, brothers, believe what just come out, you gonna believe in this book. You understand? You say believe in God. You're gonna believe everything will come out of this book. Come on. In my father's house are many mansions. That's what God said. God said, In my father's house. That's what we just read. About the eunuch. He said, In my house, I will give you a name more better than the sons. Come on. If it were not so, I would have told you. That's what the scripture said. You understand? It's in red writing too. I know it's in red. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. Come on. If it were not so, I would have told you. You see that Christ ain't going to lie. You will lie. But Christ said, if it was not so, I would have told you. There's many mansions is there for you, brothers and your sisters. If you just endure unto the end. You understand? For real. Come on. I go to prepare a place for you. Come on. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. You see that? That's what the Bible said. The Bible said that. We gonna get received back. You understand? Now, listen, earth is too small to hold us. That's what the scripture show you, brothers and sisters. The earth is too small for us. Mansion is there, but listen, we have to rule heaven and earth. We have to rule it. You understand? There is no way we're gonna give the other nation a part or a piece of our inheritance, what the most I give us from Jump Street. Every other nation get what they deserve. You understand for real? So we can't even mad at them. You understand? The blessing what they get is to rule the hurt. Heat all the fatness of the hurt. Our rulership is to rule our nation and every place where your foot step on the face of the earth, God said, it's for you. So, brothers and your sisters, I pray you, brothers and sisters, get something from the class. You understand? I always told you, brother, I'm going to still remember you about the Passover. The Passover this year, it's going to be on the 10th, you understand, of next month. You brothers get that? The 10th of next month, which is April, the month of a baby. You understand? For real. And the new moon going to be, what, the 27th, 28th this month? Huh? The new moon. I thought it's like, it's the 27th. Let me, brother, I don't want to say nothing wrong because I know if I say something wrong, oh, yeah, I hear Barnabas say 27. Get me good. Find me that, brother. 
find me that. I know oh, some itchy ears there. They will say, I say that. Yes, you say that. Saying, these are the things, but don't worry yourself. You're going to get it. The new moon going to be on the 28th. The 28th. The 28th. You understand? For real. Yeah. 28th of this month. The new moon. You understand? For real. See, see that? Every month we can bougie. We can floss. We can have the most nice time. So with that, we're going to say shalom. Hey, listen, good. I always forget to read out the, what the thing name again? Can you read? Yeah. See, so don't worry about that. Anybody have any question though? Anybody have any question, please? Let me see if you guys have any questions. For real, I enjoy you, brothers and your sisters, the one who visit that face, that, that, that clubhouse thing. I enjoy you, brothers and man, over there. Sometimes I listen to you guys. I say, damn, for real. The Bible said that my seed coming back to life. See that, for real. When they say peace, the most I say now. When they say war, the most I say now. That's, that's not the time for war yet. It's peace time now. Until. You don't want to see the real war we're going to be on the face of the earth. The real war we're going to be on the face of the earth, boy, you can't take it. Because there's a lot of weeping and moaning and gnashing of teeth. That's going to be on her. Well, I'll praise this to the Most High. I'll praise to the Most High. You, brothers and sisters, stay in the spirit. The more you understand, brothers and sisters, thank you for your time and line. The one who always looking out to understand, give that. See always been giving us our energy to bring the word across. See that. So again, remember Passover. We have it in what? The next three weeks? Three weeks? Huh? Shia, she's been you know, battling some sickness, so I pray that she's look like she's feeling better. Sister Shy? From Connecticut King. Okay. Sister Shy, big up self, man. Prayers are always going up, man. Prayers goes up. Our prize don't come down. You see what I'm saying? Blessing come down. When we send a prize, it's blessing come down. So don't worry yourself. You see what I'm saying? Whether it be good or it's bad. So the most I said it. Most I said, endure. You must endure as a what? Good soldier. You stand for real. We're on the battlefield right now. Anything can happen. But the food and the things what we eat day by day, trust me, anything can happen. So I just keep focused and try to just keep myself right. And so see if I can just get that mercy from the most side if you get on the other side. Because the Bible said the right just said what? Scarce. Scarce to make it in this battlefield. <laughs> so I'm not worried because the right just ain't going to get it easy. You're going to get it rough. You know what I'm saying? That's what the scripture said. I praise virgin and sister. I praise thank you for your time. The righteous. Yeah. So, with the righteous going through it, time. What about the one? <laughs> Yo, you say, if you want to believe that, okay, I, I'm good. I don't care about these boys, what they want to say. Brother, correction is good. And who said that? Okay, my si that, that, that's my favorite sister right there too, man. For real. That's my favorite sister. I always be in line. Never one week I don't see up there. You understand? Sister, prayers goes up, blessing come down. You know what I'm saying? That's all it goes down with we as a people. See, as long as do you just want to be, just be on the good side, don't bring no living. You understand? For real, man. They have always been clean, which is a mind against brothers and against sisters. Moses ain't gonna turn back that prayer. What the brother said. How when what? Sister, I think it's a sister or brother. A sister right up there. It says when? How do you know when to break bread when you are new to the truth? I'm gonna read a scripture for you. That that these are the things will make you know if you ready to break bread. Watch this. Give me that Psalms. I believe Psalms. 15 verse 1. So I'm going to read this psalm for you. 
Everybody said I like Psalms, but I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> so I'm saying that's real nice in my mind. I love it. I love Psalms, man. For real. You know for me? Psalms chapter 15 and verse 1. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? So now the Bible has shown you when you're ready to break bread, it says, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Come on. Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? And who going to get to that holy place, which is what? Jerusalem. Come on. He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness. The Bible said, if you start to work at righteousness, righteousness means you do not break in the Mosai God laws. Sometimes you will slip, but that not supposed to stop you from breaking the bread. You see, if you're doing good, because listen, there is not a just man upon earth. You're going to fall. You understand for real. You have to understand that. Come on. And worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. So now, if you start to speak the truth, you understand you're not holding back. Brothers and sisters, if you're bucked up, you understand, you're giving that Proverbs, 20, Proverbs 13, or Proverbs 28, verse what? Verse 13, it says, you that covers your sin. Something like that. See what I'm saying? If you're not covering up your sin, you're good. Break the bread. Come on. Nor do it, he that backbiteth not with his tongue. And you do not say something and after that, whenever you come up something wrong, you said no. And I said, you do not tell your husband this and then deep down the line, you know, just because he's going to mad at you, you just shade it up. If you are good, break the bread. That's what the scripture tell you. Come on. Nor do it evil to his neighbor. And you do not do evil to your brothers and your sister. You understand for real? He will mean you just see them from nowhere and don't like them. You understand for real? Every little thing you just mad at it. Come on. Nor take it up a reproach against his neighbor. Now just see your brothers and your sister and just want to malice them just like that. Just don't want, don't want to have no relationship with them. Come on. In whose eyes a vile person is con, con, contempt. contempt. Come on. But he that honors them that feareth the Lord. He that swerve to his own hurt and changeth not. He said, he honor them that fear the Lord. Come on. He that swerve to his own hurt and changeth not. And change not. Come on. He that putteth not out his money to usury. He that putteth not out his money to usury. You lend me this and when you check it out, you want back that. You give me $15. I said, let, brother, let me $20 or let me $10. But with, by returning back the 10 I have to give you a 5 more on a 10, make 15. Oh, no, oh God, so you cannot get me. You don't ready for bread, no bread yet. Come on. Nor taketh reward against the innocent. Ah, you take up a reward against the innocent. Sell out like many of these brothers are sell out. And act like as we sell out. Come on. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Never. If you do these things, what I just read, you never. So you can break the bread. Break the bread and drink up some wine. Okay. What's that up there, right there? What is it? What is it? Nice club. What's this one down there? This is nothing? This is That's why I love IYC leadership because y'all break the scriptures down to the T. Bring the Bible to life. Okay. So I pray. What about this one down there? Is that why? I love it. Okay. okay. That's the same thing. Okay. N nothing more up top. Okay, doke. Oh, you're going to let him come down. All praise to the most high brothers and sisters in the spirit. You understand for real? Next week, Tuesday night, as long as the most high give us strength and energy, you understand and prepare life. Yes, I will be back on the stage. All praise to the most high. Just keep the faith going. Sisters, you understand? Be more submissive to your Lord. Same thing, you husband. Love your wife. That's what the scripture said. You understand? As long as she live it. Look here, if she have a hunchback, she have this, she have that, love her. That's what the scripture said. You see what I'm saying? So with that, we're going to say Shalom, Moses and Christ bless next week. Tuesday night in the building. I'll be back. Shalom, Moses and Christ bless. Shalom. Cheers.